What's up guys, Jesse here. So I uploaded my first video here on YouTube on May 25th, 2020. So it's been roughly a year since I've been in this whole YouTube space. And today we're gonna to be talking about how much I made from YouTube, as well as just some of the stuff I've learned along the way. So if you guys are new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, my name's Jesse Chen and I make videos about tech. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, feel free to hit that subscribe button. But let's get this out of the way since this is why you clicked on the video. All right, so in my first year of YouTube, I have earned, let's see, let's change that to last 365 days. I've earned $833.84. Now you may see that number and go, hey, that's not bad, but when you consider how much time and effort I put into this channel, then it is an absolutely horrible return on investment. But we'll get to that in a second. Now, one of the biggest questions I get asked about YouTube though is how do you get paid? And it's a pretty complicated question, but the first step is always to get monetized. And you become eligible for monetization by first getting 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Meaning one person could watch 4,000 hours of your content or 1,000 people could each watch four hours as long as you reach that 4,000 hours. And for my experience, as well as what I've seen from the small creator community, the 4,000 hours is much harder to get than the 1,000 subscribers. But yeah, then once you hit those numbers, you can then apply to be in the YouTube Partner Program. At that stage, YouTube will then review your channel just to make sure that you have original content and it's something that they can get behind. And then once you're approved, you can then make a Google AdSense account, which is where you'll enter in all your banking information and then you actually get paid. So once you get all of that set up, you can then put ads in your videos and start earning that sweet, sweet YouTube ad revenue. For me, that whole process took a about five months of posting once a week. And for my research, that seems to be pretty typical, maybe edging on the side of fast, but of course your mileage may vary. So that's how you get eligible to get paid, but how do you actually get paid? So basically the way that YouTube calculates it is as a rate per 1000 views. And they give you two numbers to keep track of that, RPM and CPM. So CPM stands for cost per mil, and that basically just means how much advertisers are willing to pay per 1000 monetized views. And a monetized view is basically just one where they actually watch the ad, and mine is right now $8.86. And RPM is revenue per mil, and how much you actually get paid per 1,000 views. And this number is typically much, much lower because it also includes the non-monetized views, as well as YouTube's cut, which is 45%. And my RPM right now is $2.58. So basically on my channel, for every 1,000 views, I get paid $2.58. Now how high or low your CPM and RPM are depend on a lot of factors, like what your topic is, who your audience is, and what genre you're talking about. Like I think YouTubers who talk about finance tend to earn the most, while vlog channels tend to earn on the lower side. And a tech channel like mine earns somewhere in the middle. So like I said at the beginning of the video, so far in my first year of YouTube, I've made $833.84, which is just based on how many views I got and what my RPM was. It's a little bit misleading just because it took me about five months to get monetized in the first place, so this is more of a half year stat, but we can see on this graph like how much I've made each day. Okay, so you can see at the beginning of the graph over here, it's a flat line, just zero every day, and that's just because I wasn't monetized and I couldn't put any ads on my video, so therefore no revenue, makes sense. Now, once we go a little bit further here, we've got a little bit more money, a dollar per day. And on a good day, I would have like $4. So, you know, that's that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so this trend continues for a long time because, you know, my content was, you know, getting about the same amount of views for quite a while. And then you can see finally over here starts to kick up a little bit and uh, you know once your videos start doing a little bit better you make a little bit more money. So yeah you know earning five six dollars over there and then uh, another spike you know peaks of like nine nine fifty a day over here ten thirty over here and then yeah finally you can see a big spike over here forty dollars in a day and um yeah that's just because i had one video that did really great uh if you haven't checked it out already you should probably go look at that uh it was my uh ultimate hybrid desk setup um i don't know if i see it over here yeah it's number two right here right now now that's not a crazy amount of money as you can clearly tell but you may be thinking you know 
it's not nothing and it's pretty cool how you can just make money off the internet like that. But keep in mind that making these videos takes a lot of time. Like an average 10 minute video usually takes about an hour and a half of raw like me talking to the camera footage just because I mess up so much and I have to say each line like 10 different times. And that's not even taking into account the amount of time that it takes to write the script, film the b-roll, edit the video, write the description, take the thumbnail, edit the thumbnail, post the video, add in the tags, and after all is said and done, each one of my 10 minute videos takes about 20 to 30 hours of time to work on. And that's a pretty big burden if you already have a job and you're trying to put out one video a week. And of course not everybody is going to take that long, it'll depend on what style of content you're doing as well as how long your videos are. But just know that it's going to take a long time if you try to do it. And this whole thing is a real learning process too, like you're going to have to spend a lot of time, especially at the beginning, just learning how to video edit, how learning how to shoot video and learning how lighting works and just like all that different stuff and it's, it's it's a lot anyways i guess my whole point with this is that this whole youtube thing is a marathon and not a sprint like if you're thinking about getting into the whole youtube game just thinking that you're gonna make a ton of money right off the bat then maybe don't because you will be disappointed and there will always be those unicorns that get a million subs in the first two months or whatever but if you're a normal person like me you can expect similar results so if you want to start this youtube thing just make sure it's something that you're okay with doing for free because chances are that you will be for quite a while and even when you do start earning money from it it'll be quite a while before it turns into anything even remotely worth the time as for me i'm gonna keep on making videos just because it's kind of always been a dream of mine to have a YouTube channel and I just really enjoy the process of making videos even though it does take so long and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Anyways that's it for this one, not my usual content but I kind of like the idea of doing this type of content every time I reach a certain milestone just so you guys know what's going on with the channel and you know in 10 years when I'm famous this can show up in your recommended. Remember to smash the like button and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!